we're gonna we're gonna watch this conversation but before we watch this conversation i have a question who's the guy on the left is that pim tool because it seems like he's capable of doing remote broadcasting and if i remember in our personal correspondence that also leaked uh to the world i told him you know i would love to come on a show but uh you know we could we would have to do it remotely and he said that that's uh an impossibility he said that he doesn't know how to do uh, video calls that his studio does not have the technical capabilities of doing a video call i, I don't understand it antifa so so you covered antifa on the ground we've been told by the media that antifa are alternatively world war ii era allied troops <laughs> storming the beaches of normandy uh, yeah, we've been told folks. by joe biden that they are not in fact a, a group that they are in fact just sort of a, a philosophy you know sort of like sort of like cubism or something like an artistic movie. okay but it is true. Like, that's literally true. It is not an organized body. It is an action. It is a philosophy. It's, it does not exist when fascism does not exist. If fascists aren't organizing, then Antifa doesn't go around and they're like, well, I decided this is fascism now. I know that that's the way that Ben Shabibo and Tim Pool act like it is, but that's not how it works. And that's not how it works. That's not how it has worked throughout history. Well, what exactly is Antifa since you've covered them on the ground? I mean, it's not necessarily wrong to say that they're a movement or an idea, but it's the individual cells that we're talking about. I think what you're talking about and what they do is like, do they mean like Rose City or something? There's like, or do, do they mean DSA? Because the DSA, there are a lot of anti-fascists in the DSA uh, and DSA is against fascism, but that is not an Antifa organization. That's the DSA. The only one that I know of that you could like consider to be an organization, I believe, is uh, I guess Rose City, right? Isn't it Rose City Antifa or something? There is like a Portland group or something. The mainstream media uses a semantic argument to try and act like they don't exist. So to put it simply, Antifa is the symbols they use, the ideology. Typically, find uh, you'll, you'll find that many of these people are authoritarian communists. And I, I'm not trying to exaggerate or do some stupid, oh, they're all communists. No, like they're, they're literally, they believe in authoritarian communism. Um, Antifa or authoritarian communists is what I heard him say while I was going to pee. Um, that is so fucking incorrect that it blows my mind. If anything, are there communists in the anti-fascist uh, action, in the uh, movement of, uh, that engage in anti-fascist action? Certainly. But it's more so anarchist. I, I think that for someone who worked at Vice and uh, builds himself as a leftist turned Trump supporter, kind of odd that uh, he's missing like this this main principle that they are they are literally fucking, uh, anarchists. They're crustiest of the anarchists for the most part, some of them. Because if I said, you know, I went to Portland and Antifa came out, then I went to Boston and Antifa came out. They say, aha, see, that proves it because there's no connection between those two groups. But it's the general idea is. They, they, they hold that same ideology, wearing all black, they use similar tactics, they use the same symbols, and they typically agree with each other on their cause and their, you know, their means to the end. Wait, is he now making a distinction between black bloc and like regular people um, engaging in anti-fascist action? I'm confused. Like black bloc is anti-fascist action taken to uh, violent means if necessary as a defensive measure. It is under the umbrella of anti-fascist action, but it's a very specific part of it. A lot of the anti-fascist people are, are humanists. They're, they abhor, they think violence is abhorrent. They refuse to engage in violent actions to begin with. Black Bloc is, is a very small fraction of that, like a very, very small fraction of the uh, otherwise uh, growing movement of, of people who engage in anti-fascist action using violence against their political opponents, all, uh, for the most part, instigating it outright, and it works for them. You know, the, the example I often give to people, why is it that social media is so willing to censor right-wing individuals, but Antifa is literally organizing violent riots online, even probably- One is pushing back against a demonstration from white supremacists. The other one is a white supremacist movement that has an inherently violent ideology that tries to mask themselves under the guise of civility to promote that inherently violent ideology. I think that both Ben Shabibo and Tim Pool, if uh, they were asked whether or not Nazism is inherently violent as an ideology, would probably not say no. I, I think that obviously they, they wouldn't defend Nazism. It's like one of the few normative positions that almost every single person agrees. Uh, throughout history that they were bad it's like slavery and nazism those are two 
two things that you can have like a very clear normative position on okay throughout history you sure lmao yes of course they say nazism is bad otherwise they wouldn't d compare other shit to nazis okay they do that too so the point is this if they understand that that's inherently violent then what's your suggestion to fight back against it because we that's a common uh, agreement that we have that nazis are bad why are they bad well, because it's an inherently violent ideology. Why is it an inherently violent ideology? Because it, it bases itself on the on the foundational principle of ultranationalist uh, exclusion, and that in group gets smaller and smaller, and the way the deal with the out group gets more and more violent because there's no peaceful transition uh, of like there's no there's no way to get like uh, I don't know Jewish people out of the country peacefully. Of course, it's going to be violent. Of course, you can't purge immigrants from their homes peacefully. Ethnic cleansing cannot happen in a peaceful capacity. It's inherently violent. Now, the question you have to ask is, why do you want to do that to begin with? That's the real question. Yeah, racial purity is violent. That's why you have to have uh, anti-fascist action against these sorts of movements. Antifa in, say, San Francisco in the Bay Area, they'll show up to the, to the headquarters of these big tech companies and they'll trash the place. So these companies say, well, well, you know, leave them alone. But there's not going to be a conservative group marching to Twitter HQ with pitchforks and torches. So long as big companies keep giving Antifa what they want or showing them their tactics work, they'll keep doing what they do. So here's the thing. Big corporations are giving Antifa what they want. Like, that's insane. No, the agreement there is one that you would agree with as well, Tim Pool, which is Nazis are bad. If you agree that Nazis are bad, or you agree that fascism is bad, i.e. Well. even using Antifa as fascist, understanding high. that fascism is bad, then what anti-fascists do is basically out people as fascists on the internet. That's what he's talking about when he's talking about how like big corporations give Antifa what they want. It's not big corporations giving Antifa what they want. It's big corporations banning in some circumstances because it gets to a really, really extreme point of view where there's a lot of fucking violence as a consequence of that. It's just big corporations being liberal as fuck and being like, okay, well, we don't, we don't want to have, uh, you know, Stormfront and, and Groypers on our, on our platform face. spreading uh, psychotic uh, screeds about uh, ethnic purity uh, that the, the whites, for, uh, the future for whites needs to be uh, a secure one. It, like, they don't want that on their platform. Sorry. That's not people doing the, the cause of anti-fascism. That's just liberals when, uh, when they get to an inevitable conclusion that like the person that they're dealing with is a fascist, taking action against it. Uh, Nazis know this. They're not necessarily massive, by the way. Yeah, people they're not as big uh, post-Charlottesville 1. Which... They know that, which is why they literally have changed tactics. If you Yo. go to websites like I have, like Stormfront, they very clearly lay out their strategies saying, don't look like a fucking skinhead. Don't look like a Ku Klux Klan member because everybody knows that that's bad. If you want to infiltrate these circles, you need to infiltrate Republican circles and make it seem like you're a pleasant Republican because Republicans and Nazis historically have uh, aligned values ultimately, okay? That's why Stephen Miller is able to, uh, you know, right immigration policy that a lot of these hogs love so what tim is doing here is is counterproductive to his own interest if he thinks fascism is bad then why the fuck is he caping for the fascists who want to continue spreading misinformation and continue doing continue trying to to uh, build up a base of support for their ultimate ethnic uh, cleansing uh, ideology antifa knows this i've actually talked to people going back to occupy wall street who have straight up said no leaders as soon as you put someone up, they'll smear, they'll character assassinate. So it is on purpose. They yeah, who does that, by the way? Like, how many fucking Nazi leaders has the state executed in comparison to how many fucking black leaders and radical uh, uh, black uh, liberation movement leaders has the state literally executed? That's why Antifa fucking wears black, because the state is not on their side. The corporations are not on their side either. Two. They do that because they don't want to get fucking assassinated. And the fact that he's only talking about character assassination, which is unmasking, by the way. Unmasking is considered character assassination. If you're a Nazi and you want to do Nazi shit and someone goes, oh, that guy's a Nazi, here's why. 
That's considered character assassination for Tim Pool, which is hilarious, especially considering the fact that, again, if that's the most significant problem that you have, well, here's a very easy way to avoid it. Don't be a fucking Nazi. Whereas state-sponsored executions happen to Antifa even now. Donald Trump literally got excited and horny uh, to take credit for the execution by federal marshals of Michael Rennell. He said, what happened? Well, we haven't arrested him. Two days, three days went by. We sent in the U.S. Marshals. Took 15 minutes, it was over. 15 minutes, it was over. We got him. They knew who he was. They didn't want to arrest him. And 15 minutes, that ended. The dude who shot a proud boy, a white supremacist uh, proud boy, or not proud boy, sorry, a uh, patriot prayer person in Portland. He was executed by federal marshals, and Donald Trump said, I called that hit. I think there's, there's two things. You've got the activist media that hates Donald Trump, and they're saying, you know, oh, Antifa is no big deal, but they're saying it because they want to protect Antifa. You then have these local reporters, these people who are probably, you know, they have good intentions. They're trying to be objective and fair, but they can't grasp the concept of Antifa as a group because Antifa has specifically obfuscated what they really are. So you can't report on what they are. But if it's not an organization, and if it's people engaging in an action and you basically admit that, then why do you want people to, like, what do you want the media to do? To just lie? Like, you're pretty much admitting that there are, um, like, demonstrations that are put together by local community organizers in an effort to do anti-fascist action at a time when like fascists are demonstrating in a show of force in their towns and their cities. If you understand that and there's no leader and there's no organizational structure, if you already admitted that, then like, why are you saying uh, that the media is not covering it as an organization because they, because they don't know how to cover it? It's like, no, you're basically asking them to lie. <laughs> like, and we all saw what happened to Andy No, you know, when he was out there in Portland, they physically beat him. They left him bleeding and covered in, you know, milkshake and stuff like that. Andy No has literally doxed journalists and docs leftists uh which uh this kind of information leaves them in harm's way and uh actually uh has has uh, gotten into the hands of atomwaffen a very dangerous nazi group that uh, uh recruits from inside of the military they're one of the few far-right uh organizations that the american government actually fucking has to deal with and personally deals with and like locks up because they try to bomb uh, places. He's also collaborated with the Proud Boys who assaulted activists. Yes, it's bullshit. Andy No is a fascist collaborator. They're still here. They're still rioting. Apparently, the media calling it for Joe Biden did nothing to change their minds. And in fact, I think it's only it's only likely to escalate. Wait, of course, Joe Biden is not uh, able to change their minds. You're admitting that uh, like Antifa has nothing to do with the Repub uh, Democratic Party. Why the fuck would these crusty anarchists that don't even want to half the time, don't even want to fucking participate in it, in uh, electoralism, why would they ever listen to fucking Joe Biden? They think Joe Biden is literally the enemy. And quite frankly, ideologically speaking, or even if you actually have like a, a, a fucking pure moralist point of view, Joe Biden can easily come across as the enemy as well in an exact same uh, circumstance to like Donald Trump being the enemy. He is. Why the fuck would like Joe Biden being like, uh, cut it out, Jack. Don't do this Antifa stuff, Jack. You know, don't break these windows, Jack. Like, why would that be a, a thing that actually gets people to stop?